Okay, everybody, I was asked to do an extraction style of game in uh, one of the comments on the tutorials that I've got here. And I thought, yeah, I think I can do that. So I've made a very basic extraction style of game. First, we start off on a motorcycle, then we run over some guards, or if you want to fight them, you can fight them. There's uh, extra checkpoints and collectibles to kind of get. And uh, then we got to finally make it into the main bunker here, where we'll fight our way around to go get the extraction item. Now, all of the assets that I've used inside of here are all inside of Fortnite, so there's nothing special going on in that regard. I haven't gone and made any extra... Okay, these guys gotta go. Okay, I think that's all of them. So we make our way up to this top level here, and we should have this computer right here where we have to interact with. Now, it takes a little bit of time to get this, so you get a little nervous because the guards are kind of running around. And then you get this card, which is the Caddy Corner key card. So we're going to grab that, and now that we've got that, we can get the heck out of here. And we need to make it to the extraction point. So we're going to take this really nice car and boogie off and i know exactly where to go because i've built the game obviously so there's a lot of other little things to kind of do to make this a little bit more understandable we're going to hop in the plane and we are out of here and that's it that is our extraction game pretty simple there's a lot more to do but let's cover how i made just this uh in this tutorial Okay, everybody, before we get into the tutorial, I have to tell you about our new map called Pixel Pit. It is a very fun box fight, but it's got a twist. You can spectate if you want to. Just go around the sides or hop up on top and you can watch everybody from all the way around or just get in there and battle it out with everybody that's in there. It is a lot of action. It's very fast, but uh, the walls themselves are always changing. So you never know where you're going to be able to hide or pop out from or be on top. It is a lot of fun. We're very proud of this. This took some serious time, some serious cool mechanics that are in it and I hope you enjoy it. I'll be in there after this tutorial so come play. Come battle out or come just hang out and watch and uh, I hope you guys learn a lot from this tutorial and I hope you have fun playing the game. Please let me know what you think of it and I'll see you guys there. Okay we are inside of UEFN and this is the basic map. You can see that we start on the right, we go to the left and I've got a little village here that I've got my bike that I'm going to ride into danger. And there's a base here full of guards. There's a collectible in there, which I didn't get. There's a guard tower here, another collectibles inside of there. And then inside of this base here is where we're going to find our extraction device, which uh, currently is just a computer with a button and an item spawner, which will give us the card and a beacon. So we can tell that that's the thing to go to. Then we have our escape vehicle here, which is an octane, quite quick, easy to get away. More guards over here, down the way we go past another guard tower, which isn't manned yet. And then finally to our biplane, which we escape in. When we escape in the biplane, it ends the game, but there's a bit of a delay so that you can fly off into the sunset kind of idea if you fly off safely and if you have the card. So that is the basic layout and it really is quite basic. There's not a lot going on overall, but you know, you can do an awful lot with this type of game. You can definitely add a lot more props, more vehicles, better guards, better guard paths and stuff like that. So I'm going to show you how I tie it all together with Verse. Okay, we are inside of Verse now and this is our main game manager file. Not very big, as you can see, but it ties everything together in the game that needs to work. Now, it's not like you couldn't get this stuff done just with devices and tie them together like that, but this is a great beginner tutorial to understand the very basics of how to get into using Verse. So let's do that. So the first thing to note here is I have a game manager.verse file. If you've never made one of these, I have a tutorial specifically on that stuff, but just to show you, if we go into our Verse Explorer down in the bottom, if, if you don't see this, then we can go up to the top and go Verse and then choose Verse Explorer. That will give us this window here. Now I have a file in here already, but if you don't, just right click, add new Verse file to project. It will open up a little window and you can type in the name of your device. Mine is just Game Manager because it manages my game and then hit create. Once we've got that, we can double click on it and it's going to open up our file. Now the file game manager 
is what's going to run our game. And the important thing is it's going to run this function called onBegin, and we're going to do all of our setup inside of there. But first, let's discuss all of the items that we are using in this game. So the first things to note is that we have guard spawners. Now I want to respond to some guards being eliminated, maybe give a score, some points kind of thing, maybe give some extra health or something like that, or give some ammo. You can do that if you make them into editables and then attach them. So what is an editable, you might ask? Well, if we look at our game manager here in our outliner, and the reason it's in our outliner is because we can actually drag this onto the screen. When you go verse build verse code inside of your project, you're going to get a creative devices folder. And inside of there is going to be the device that you made. Mine's called game manager. You take that and drag it onto the screen. It looks like this little computer. So that's why I have a little computer run here. And inside of our details panel, we're going to have all of the things that we've made from editables. If we take a look inside of here, we've got our guard spawner. And then over in our details panel, we've got guard spawner one, two, three, one, two, three, ammo granter uh, right here. And so all of these items are items that live inside of my game. And I want to link them up to verse so that I can control them. So we've got an ammo grantor, which grants us our ammo and our weapons. And that actually is just inside of here. I place it inside of this building. I originally was going to have items that were dropped in here, but I thought I'll just grant all the items. An item grantor grants items to all players, one player, you can do it on command with verse, but we're granting it on begin of the game. So when the game begins down in the details here, we can make sure that it is enabled on game start and you can grant on game start too, but I wanted to control it. So I've done it inside of verse. Now the items that are in here are your choice. I've got some ammo in here, heavy, light, medium bullets, some, some shells, and then a bunch of different weapons that I thought would be appropriate. And that's it. That's all we have to kind of do in here, making sure that when we grant them, we uh, we can clear the inventory if we want it to be totally fresh. So that means like if your if your player died or hit a reset point or something like that, you could clear the whole inventory and just refresh their whole loadout, which is kind of handy. If you want them to keep everything, then just put keep all. All right. So that's the item grantor out of the way. Let's uh, let's move on. Now we've got two spawn pads in here which are also inside of the game manager. So we want to be able to control when a player spawns, what we want to do with them. In this case, we're not doing a lot. We're just granting the ammo and weapons. And then we've got a bike here, which will allow us to race off, which is really handy because this is actually a big map. I mean, relatively big map. Oh, actually, I should note that right here is a checkpoint. Uh, I've just scaled it up so it covers a whole entrance. And I put a little collectible item on here that a player can collect to kind of get bonuses in the game. And then they run over that checkpoint so that if you if you get eliminated, then you go back to there. There's another one inside of here and there's another one inside of this tower here. And then there's all of these guards. These are just these are simple. If you've never used a guard spawner device, you put them out, you change their type, you change whether or not they're powerful or not. All of the guys in here are moderate so that I can make it through the game easily, for examples. But maybe inside of this base here, you turn all of your guards really uh, accurate. So to do that, you would just select them. And then down in the details panel, you would set their accuracy to very high. And in this case, they are very, very accurate and you'll get your butt kicked. But I've set mine to moderate. You could put it to low if you want to make it really easy. And these guys just do their thing. So we've got through all of that. And now we're going to wander into this base because we want, what we want to do is we want to extract something and get it out of here. So the easiest way to do that is to use an item spawner because you want something to appear after a thing has happened. Now that thing that has happened is in this computer here. Now this computer isn't actually a computer, it's just a prop in the game, but underneath it, there is a button and this button allows us, so let's take a look at that. So this button has an interaction radius of one, so it's a little bit bigger. You don't have to be right up next to the computer and you have to hold it, you see in the details panel for five seconds. And when that finishes, you get this little kitty cat card from the item spawner and then you grab that and take off and, and get out of there. So let's take a look at the verse code for that. So back inside of verse, you can see we've just got all of the items that we're using. We've got our biplane. We've got our checkpoints that we want to check out the extraction button that we were just playing with there. The extraction item spawner, which is the cat card spawner. 
and the extract item checker. Now this is an important thing. It's a conditional button device. And this lives, actually, I put this back with the game manager way over here. And it's all of my devices are kind of organized in one spot. And this conditional button is invisible. We can do that by going into the details panel and then visible during game, we set it to no. Inside of this conditional button, we're going to put the key card. So you can see that the item definition for key item one is set to the kitty cat key card. We also have an end game device, and this is just to end the game when we're ready to end the game. And we'll do that with verse as well. So the conditional button again is just to make sure that the player actually is holding or has, doesn't have to be holding, but we can do that, uh, actually has in their inventory a key card. Okay, so let's figure out how to do that. And this is sort of the crux of what uh, an extraction game is, you got to make sure that the item that they're supposed to be ex extracting exists. So on begin starts off with subscribing to the on guard eliminated method that I've uh, determined. I'm not doing anything in here. We just put a block in here to sort of block to make sure that no errors pop up. Uh, but we could add a score, we could add health or something like that. You could do something for that. So we put those in. Now there's a lot more guard spawners, only done the first three, but the player spawners, when a player is spawned into the game, we want to listen for that. So we listen for the spawn event on each player spawner. And when somebody is spawned into the game, the ammo and weapon grantor grants all the items to the agent. So we get all of our weapons, we get all of our ammo. And then we got our checkpoints that we uh, subscribe to when an agent first activates it and that runs here. So we would register the agent with these so that when you get eliminated by one of the guards, you'll go back to that checkpoint rather than go all the way back to the beginning. That's kind of handy. Checkpoints are useful. And then we have our biplane agent enters vehicle event. We want to know when somebody gets into the biplane. Now, the funny thing about this is I thought is that when the biplane is stolen, so I've called it on biplane stolen, if they have the item, then end the game. The way we check to see if they have the item is we use the extract item checker, which is our conditional button, as we can see right here. And we say has all items. And that would be the one item that's in there. So it's just one item. And we pass in the agent with square brackets, square brackets, because this method is failable, it means that it can come back false. And so we wrap it in an if statement here. If it does, if they do have that item, then we spawn end game, which I'll talk about in a second. Or uh, if not, then we destroy the biplane. So <laughs> they fall out of the sky. And that's that. So that's just a method that lives on all of the vehicle devices. So when we end the game, we're calling a suspends function, which means it needs to sleep for a little bit. It's going to delay. It's going to run in its own threat. And we're going to delay for 10 seconds. And then we activate the end game device, which I've called EGD, which we can see right here. It's also an editable. We tie that in and end the game by calling activate. That's really really quite the easiest way to end the game. And that's all of the verse code to tie everything together. Hopefully that makes some sense. Hopefully it all comes together in your mind as well. It's a really simple style of game that you can make as advanced or easy as you want. There's no there's no limit to this. There's so much more to do in this game. Uh, but that's the very basics to be able to get from one spot to another, pick up a thing and then take off and do something else, maybe get into a vehicle, maybe just get to another side of the, the map, whatever it is. You've extracted the item, you're done. That's it for this tutorial. Hopefully that's been interesting and I will see you guys in the next one.